on my feet, keep my sight up complete like 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 it in the like he's on my feet. Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Sneakerhead of the Bay coming at you with a kind of long talking video. So if you guys don't like talking videos, um, I'd recommend you to just bounce off of this video because I'm going to be pretty much speaking the whole time and on this topic, what I'm going to be talking about is how to stay safe during meetups. So people ask me where I get my shoes and the main way I get my shoes right now is through friends, um, meetups in general. So this could be set through uh, Craigslist, Facebook, any social media site for people that are around me. I meet them up to get kicks, I meet them up to restore shoes, and there's a lot of precautions I like to take um, before meeting up somebody. And I feel like this is something that needs to be, you know, just put out there for all the people that are inexperienced and just make the world a safer place for everybody that's doing meetups. So this goes for anything regarding selling or buying anything. This is from a buyer's perspective and from a seller's perspective. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind, and if you don't mind, I'm just gonna read off a little bullet bullet point list on my uh, on my phone that I made up. <laughs> so the first thing you want to do, I don't know how you guys are getting in contact with the person in the first place. Usually, the way it happens with me is through friend referrals. So if I'm getting a friend referral, the first thing you want to do is get a phone number. Now, when you get the phone number, you want to make sure that the person is really active on that phone number. So what I mean by that is you wanna shoot them a text and say like, yo, I'm selling my cool gray fours. Um, I'm gonna hit you up with pictures, let me know if you want it. And then just exchange a couple texts back and forth, just to make sure that they are uh, pretty active when you are texting them. So it's always good to have a phone number. Second thing you wanna do is try to get the, the person's uh, Facebook, try to get them uh, try to get to know them a little better. So if you get their Facebook, you just make an excuse, a stupid excuse. I always do an excuse like, um, yo, my phone's about to die, but I'm on a computer right now. You have a Facebook, I'll just uh, hit you up on there. So when you add them on Facebook, that allows you to go through all their photos and kind of just go through their life, uh, what's going on in their life. Now I know that sounds a little like stalkerish or whatever, but it's for your protection. So you know how people say like, don't judge a book by its cover? You kind of have to do it if you want to be safe in this kind of situation. So basically what you're going to do is go through their Facebook and just go through anything that, and just try to find any stuff that might be a red flag. So for example, any guns or anything that may harm your life. Um, so for example, I went on this dude's Facebook after he wanted my shoes, everything like that, and he has pictures of him chilling with his boys, and they all have their guns like up in their pants and stuff like that. So I'm not trying to do uh, a meetup with people that you know, are like completely out like that with their guns. I'm sure I've done meetups with people that have their uh, their guns or whatever, but not people that are completely out there with uh, with stuff like that. It's not worth. Um, risking my life for it. So what I did was I just told him like, yo, this dude offered me 800 bucks for these uh, for these fours and I need the cash right now. So uh, so I took that off of my bad dude. I sold it. And then what you do is you block him on Facebook, you post him right back up, he won't be able to see it. So you just move right on with your life and, uh, and yeah, just make sure you get to know the person a little bit better. Um, what you also wanna do is meet up at a location. Um, your location. Don't meet up at their location. What you want to do is have the advantage over them in the case of uh, in the case of something happening. So just in case. So what I do is I always meet up at a public place. You never want to do anything in a residential neighborhood, in front of your house, um, in an alley, anywhere where people aren't really present. So what you want to do is just go go to like a mall or something. Go to a mall, go to a shopping center, anywhere that has high volume of traffic, just in case something does happen, you do have help. And usually, these people that do rob people or whatever, they they don't mess with people when they're um, when there's people around. Um, usually, most of the the shooting, stabbings, killings, uh, people getting robbed, all that stuff happens at night. Now, it does happen in the day, but it happens uh, it tends to happen less. 
So, like I said, meet up at a public place. For me, I usually meet up at the Target. Um, probably five, ten miles away. And you want to meet up at your time. You guys can go ahead and talk about times, but if you meet up at a time that works for you, it gives them less of a time if they want to plan something out. Um, so this is just taking extra precautions. I'm not saying that everybody's a bad person when you're meeting them up, but if you are meeting up with strangers, it's kind of like, I don't know you. Um, I, can't, I can't trust you. You know what I mean? Trust is built over time. Um, a lot of people I've been seeing are trying to bring weapons to uh, to meetups. That's not the best idea. You don't want to pull a shank on anybody, especially, um, let's say somebody's trying to rob me. I'm not going to pull my shank out and try stabbing this guy just because he wants my shoes. Um, I'm not a police officer, but I, I'm like 90% sure if I shank the dude and I kill him, if I shake him in the neck, I'm being real violent right now. But if I shake him in the neck and I kill him, um, I'm pretty sure I'll still be responsible for killing him and there's going to be something that happens to me because I killed him by accident. Um, just out of defense for my life and I kill somebody, it's not, it's not going to cut it. So what you want to do is leave that weapon at home because even if I brought that shank, say I messed up and I'm about to, um, I'm about to stab him. Uh, he just takes that shank from me and boom your weapon became his weapon and now he's gonna use it against you so if you're a real man leave the weapon at home you could punch him in the face you could punch him in the throat you could uh, kick him in the mouth do whatever you need to do just don't use a weapon um, that's not not the best idea also, you want to make sure you bring a friend just in case something does happen. Don't have this friend next to you or anything. Just have them sitting, uh, sitting like kind of far off in the background, but enough distance so then he could look look at you while you're doing the deal. Just be your homeboy, um, just like an eye watching over you. So if something does happen, your boy can like sneak up and just choke the fool out or whatever. So uh, you want to make sure that your friend is present. Um, and have your phone uh, ready just in case of an emergency. If, if something does happen, God forbid anything does happen, you will have your phone ready in your pocket. Call 911 um, if this guy does try doing anything, uh, anything crazy. And if they do try to rob you, don't, don't like try taking your stuff back. So if the guy's robbing me for like space jams, he'll be like, yo, give me your shoes, dog. And if he pulls a gun out, I'm gonna give him my shoes. I'm gonna be like, you know what? Take it. They're hella crispy, dude. You're, you're probably gonna like that. Uh, I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you later, bro. Here's my shoes. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try taking it back. Like, yo, no, these are my shoes. You know, you're not taking this. Cause what he's gonna do is he's gonna pop me. And uh, you can't really replace a life like that. But I could replace a pair of Space Jams. Um, you know, it's nothing. So basically. If you're trying to get, or if you are getting robbed, not trying to get robbed, if you are getting robbed, just let them rob you. Um, you could deal with all that later. I, actually, on the way out, you could probably take a picture of his license plate if you're able to see it. Um, or take a picture of him, and then you could report it to the officials, get the dude in jail, get your shoes back, it's all good. That's only if anything bad occurs. But yeah, that's that's the precautions I like to take when I'm doing a meetup. Um, Luckily, I think because I take all these precautions, I've been I've been really safe, and um, I'm blessed to say that nothing has happened to me. So I hope I was able to help all the youngsters, everybody that's trying to do some meetups out wherever in public with strangers. Um, a lot of stuff has been happening: shootings, stabbings, killings, and I just want to make sure everybody's safe. So I'm sorry for just talking a lot in this video it wasn't really uh, videos that you guys really enjoy watching um, that's what I'm, what I'm guessing and um, and yeah let me know what you guys think if you guys do anything different uh, just drop it in the comments or if you have any um, any tips for all the youngsters out there to stay safe when doing a meetup just just go ahead and drop a comment I'm sure um, they're gonna scroll through the comments and all that so yeah 
Um, I hope you guys like this video. If you guys go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Sneakerhead of the Bay, that would be greatly appreciated. And I'll catch you guys in a future video really, really soon. I'm out. Peace.